Celebrating Women's History on Wish TV. Brought to you by LCS Heating and Cooling, McDonald's, and Lennar Homes. Connecting incarcerated fathers with their children and resources is the work of an Indianapolis woman doing, a, doing that across the state with her organization called Yes, You, Yes, You. As we celebrate Women's History, News 8's Alexis Rogers talks with the executive director who's making a difference by helping to build better relationships between fathers and their kids. Building relationships between fathers behind bars and their kids is really hard work. That's what it's all about for Erica Sanders. She is a proud North Central graduate, and she says because of women helping women, that she has not only helped hundreds of families, but especially those dealing with this journey of incarceration and parenting. It's not uncommon to see Erica Sanders and Dr. Kristen Doss like this. I'm happy I could do it today. In a Eagerly brainstorming ways to impact the lives of incarcerated fathers and their kids. Sanders is the founder of the USU Project. Doss is the chief medical officer for the Department of Corrections. Really didn't know what we were in store for, how great it was really going to be. But later on, did we find out how big and how great this was really going to get? What started in 2014 as the first daddy-daughter dance to take place inside of an Indiana correctional facility greater and bigger than you could ever imagine. is now a training ground to strengthen Indiana families. When I followed up with the fathers who participated in that dance was that there was so much more of a need than just dancing with their daughters. Sanders is a mother of two, a wife and a daughter all experiences that helped her recognize a serious need in Indiana prisons and the complexities that were not being addressed. My dad was around, but he wasn't integrated in my life. And so I've always understood that um, uneasiness, that brokenness that comes with not having a father in your life. But on the other side, I also know from a father's perspective that sometimes you have all the tools to be a great dad, you just don't know how to put them together. Her work caught the eye of Dr. Doss. And from that moment, I immediately reached out to Erica and said, how can I help? And we had lunch <laughs> within the week and the rest is history. Who knows how difficult but needed this work is. You have to consider that the majority of the people who are in the Department of Correction now will be out within a year. And so what we want to do is make sure that these folks who are coming out will, and who will be our neighbors have the skills and the tool sets to be great men and women in their community. From 2018 to 2020, more than 60 fathers have completed the USU program. And you can probably quantify one father with, I don't know, maybe four kids, right? And so maybe 30, 30 fathers is really, you're helping like maybe 200 individuals, 200 families that you're helping put together. An undeniable impact that has the potential to grow. This is a photo from what I made at the father-daughter dance. It's me and my father. Me and my father and my sister danced together. It was just, it was pretty. And I just like the moments and time that I had with him. And I'm just grateful for everything that she done for me. Sanders and Doss agree they're stronger together, which is why Doss pushed Sanders to get in front of the commissioner, which led to more support from the Department of Corrections. Just to share a little information about Erica's program, all the participants, all the men who have participated in USU to date, none of them have returned to Indiana Department of Correction. And that is huge. That right there speaks to the power of Erica, her leadership, her team, and the work that she's doing for the Department of Correction. I'm so happy that I met Erica and was able to join her foundation because without it, I wouldn't be where I am right now to this day. Sanders continues her mission in uplifting others. I had to get it. Especially those who help further her project. Thank you, Erica, and thank you, USU program, for changing my life and making me a better man. Ultimately, setting more Hoosier families free. Sanders has goals to continue partnering with DOC and expanding this program to multiple facilities all across the state. Even in the midst of the pandemic, they had 30 fathers participating. They'll continue their events and training. Alexis Rogers, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.